All right, now we're doing 7Q, count the divisors of a number. This is by Tiriana, and 91% of the people like it. We're going to count the number of divisors of a positive integer n. Uh, random tests go up to 500,000, n equals 500,000. And basically, we're just going to say, like, 4 has 3 divisors, 1, 2, and 4. Uh, and it's always going to count itself also. Okay, so for this one... Uh, the best thing to do, we can go about it two ways. We could go up from zero, or we can go down from the number. And for some reason, going up from zero takes twice as long as going uh, down from the number. I don't know why, but that's just, if you do them both ways, the uh, down the one going down from the number uh, is twice as fast. Yeah, basically. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to declare a uh, variable. We're going to say let result equals zero, all right? And uh, that's just basically gonna be a count. Uh, we're gonna say then, we're gonna do a for loop, we're gonna say four, and let uh, i equal n, and while i is greater than zero, we're gonna say i minus minus, all right? And then after that, we're gonna say uh, if n, excuse me, if in remainder operator i equals zero, so basically if uh, you know if it's divisible, if this is perfectly divisible, if i is perfectly divisible by n, if n is perfectly divisible by i, then uh, it'll equal zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, result plus plus. All right, and then down here we're just going to say return result. Oh, let me put this plus plus together. Test it out. All right, cool. Attempt it. Yeah, see, <laughs> this is totally twice as fast as the other way. Let's do it the other way. Zero uh, less than n plus one i plus plus. Because n's going to be included, so we got to do that. Or just an equals. You do equal. Forget about that plus one. Uh, less than or equal. Let's test it out. And actually, let's just attempt it. I know it'll work. C twice as slow. Go back. Let's go back. All right, cool. I test it one more time. Good. Attempt it. Yeah. Well, good enough. Anyway. We're going to submit this, and you can see it's pretty much exactly like this one. Uh, they declared the uh, D, the little initial variable, inside of here, inside of the for loop. Uh, but that's basically it, and then they didn't put the brackets here, but that's basically the only difference is here. Uh, let's say my solution's going to be the three of us, best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.